This is our geodesic dome in the middle of the forest. Last year, we definitely learned a lot of lessons about how to live off-grid in the harsh Canadian winters. Over the past few weeks, we've been taking those lessons and turning them into plans to be more comfortable this coming winter. From ripping apart the inside, installing two layers of insulation, and doubling our kitchen size, there is nothing off the table as we turn this into our dream dome home. Come along. So the common sense approach to tackling this project would have definitely been continuing on with the tile when we were building the kitchen last week, but truthfully we just ran out of time and it was the last thing that we wanted to do. Well, I mean it's also the fact that common sense has not been with us this far into the project, <laughs> so we're just going to keep doing what we want. Yeah. <laughs> um, honestly though, like we just, we needed a little bit of a break to recharge after tackling this, so I'm, I'm glad that we did. It was the good decision. So. What Todd is doing right now is he is just laying out all of the tile. So this is the tile that we're going to use for the backsplash right there. It's actually leftover tile from when we renovated the first RV, which is kind of cool that we're going to be able to take a part of that life into this new life in the dome. Plus, it's free because we bought it like... Three years ago? Yeah. Wasn't well, wow. that wild? Time flies when you're busy. <laughs> All right, team. What are we thinking? These down here, but then I feel like it's too white right here. Do you want to move it all onto the floor and actually like space it out so we can see yeah. it fully? Yeah, this is, this is too confusing. That's the tricky part is like balancing the colors. the colors. It's a lot of blues and oranges and browns. Here, this one can go up there. Put some orange up there. But then it's a lot of blue. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to go back there. We can yeah. swap it with. But then, what do I put back there? Because there's just so many solids. Grab that. Oh, it's hard. That's what I'm saying. Maybe like that? Yeah. Where would you go with a quarter? We're gonna go with one eighth spacers. Because it brings the tiles right to an eight inch tile. Oh, smart, okay, yeah. Yeah, just to make the math a little bit easier on me. <laughs> just shy of six foot, so 71 and a half. Eight goes into 70. Eight puts us at 64. 70 and three eighths is right here. So then if we take off five eighths on, on either side, side. I should have paid attention in fractions in grade one, but you know what? Like, why couldn't we just done a simple white tile? Because we don't live in the suburbs. We don't live in Morocco either. But here we are. <laughs> well, I mean, how many more hours are we gonna spend sitting on the floor organizing tiles? I have tiles? four in the calendar. You need to be a part of the action, don't you? Hmm? Okay. Shouldn't we probably protect the countertops? Oh yeah, that'd probably be the next logical step, right? Yeah. No sense in ruining all the work we did last week. <laughs> we'll save that for another video. Yeah, that's next Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We get ourselves into some situations. So when I start taking the tiles and cutting them, I need to have a grid and all of them marked so they know where they go. Okay, but it would be nice if we could just do one task at a time. You're doing one task and I'm doing one task. Together we can get two done at a time. So see, now, each tile is going to be numbered. So we're pre-doing the grid. Now. Now. So it's on the ground. So it's easier to install the tile. So that I don't get mixed up on the cuts and you don't get mixed up on installing them. That was smart. Yeah. I was being a little mean. You've been more than a little <laughs> mean all day. I'm sorry, this is actually really smart. Like this is gonna save us so much time down the road. Finding it. Good. Kind of slow going, but 
I've got almost the whole top and bottom row done and then I'll move the bar and do the sides. I can't believe how many tiles you have to cut. Yeah, but I'm getting through it. 19 in total? Well, yeah, because I don't have to do these ones that are in the center. There's a small section of six or seven. Do I have it all through my hair? Oh yeah, tile all through your hair. <laughs> Smart to put on this jacket though to protect your skin a little. Yeah, it was starting to get a little like itchy, so. Yeah, well I'll leave you to this. I'm gonna go inside and like prep the space and do all that stuff. Yeah, you can get started on the Schluter strip. Yeah, oh yeah, why don't I just do that? That's a fun word. Schluter, Schluter strip. Yeah, that's what I'll do while you finish that tile up. So we've kind of like split our roles just because this project is just gonna take too long. So I'm gonna get started on putting the border all along the tile. Um, so it's just this metal bar that just is kind of like an accent piece. It just makes it look a lot nicer. So I'm just gonna get cutting that now and tacking it up on the wall. You're done? I literally just finished. Really? Yeah. Wow. That was good timing. Yeah. This is too awkward. Too awkward. Nice. I need you to really step up to your name and get some tiles on this backsplash because it's been a long day. Do you know why? Do you know why it's been a long day? Because you have not been in the zone. Because you sat on that floor there for three hours trying to figure out tile. And you know what? It's going to look perfect. Ooh. Ooh. Did you smell it? Yeah, that'll give you cancer. Cough. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do, I'm going to smear all that over there. You've got to stop saying smear. Honestly, you cannot keep doing this. Oh, look, a second trowel. Do you want me to bring some out and be putting it on for you? you make me Now? No, I'm gonna go like that and then like that. I think because there's so many lines and patterns too, even if they're not like perfect, you won't notice it from a distance. I don't think so either. It looks really nice. Yeah, I was broken, now they paint up. Yeah, baby, I'm a ride or die. Leave a message on the party line. Used to be down, but now I stay up. That side? On this side? No, <clears throat> the top. Oh, yeah, okay. You make me feel just how I like You make me feel so Super tight You make me feel just how I like You make me feel so Super tight What do you think? I think it looks really good. Like, it's so fun. Also really good with the color palette. Put it there, team. Good job, team. Crushed it. We worked up quite an appetite after this day. I planned ahead, was kind of smart, and made this. It just has potato, onion, egg, cheese, like all of the good things all mixed together in sort of like a little fusion bowl. Not working the plan? No, it's all stuck to the tinfoil, so. <laughs> Do you want to just eat it out of the tinfoil? Sure. <laughs> wow, that looks good. It looks so good. I am ready for it. Good job. Yeah? Going to use up leftovers. Yeah. This is exactly what I needed, a little pick-me-up. Mm-hmm. So good. Hello? Speaking. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll be right up. Okay. Um, they're here with the liner parts. They're at the driveway. Do you want to finish those potatoes? Do you want to install the liner? We gotta go. The work continues. So if you caught the video from a few weeks ago when we ripped down the old liner of the dome 
insulated the dome and then put up the new one. You know how much work was involved with that and we created a whole new problem where the dome became super insulated and this because of the sunlight coming in through the skylight. Anyway, it was a whole thing. Well, the replacement products just arrived, so Todd is already getting started on going to get the scaffolding. He's quite excited about it. I'm excited too, don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm tired from that tiling, so. We're gonna go load up the scaffolding, and it's gonna be a late night, I think. What do you think the logistics are of lifting this over? Terrible. Yeah, I know. Come on. Not so tough now, are you, boy? <laughs> So we've been playing a lot of procrastination the last few hours. <laughs> we decided to come to the river and just let the boys swim and us to recharge a little bit as well. Yeah, I had a nice long hot shower. I think we're just in denial of how much work we still have ahead yeah. of us. But. There's a lot to do tonight, but we're recharging at the river with an AG1 by Athletic Greens, who's the sponsor of today's video. AG1 is so much more than just a greens. It combines nine health products into one, and you're getting 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients all in one easy to take scoop. Definitely, there's nowhere else that you can get all the benefits that AG1 offers you. We've been having it every single day for two years, which is kind of wild that it's yeah. been that long, but we really, really noticed the health benefits especially on days like today that are really physical we still have our AG1 in the morning but we'll have another one at night and it just helps us the next day with our recovery our muscles are way less sore we have more energy mm -hmm. it just makes such a difference in our overall health well and it's so much better on our budget too because yeah. now instead of having all these different products we just have to have one thing in our fridge that is so easy to take it couldn't be any easier yeah we can't recommend AG1 enough if you want to learn more about them make sure you click the link in the description box down below. By doing so, you'll get five free travel packs and a one-year supply of the vitamin D drops. All right, so we're just gonna hang out with the boys for right now, and we'll catch up with you when we eventually get the willpower to work. Got the stick, Charlie? <laughs> Did you get it, buddy? Come here, buddy. Little purse. <laughs> <laughs> we're just catching up. Hey, had a busy day. Yeah, oh my goodness. Oh my, I'm in denial about having to go up and do that. Oh yeah, big right. time. Oh, let's open this actually. Yeah? I haven't even opened it. Oh, we opened the box upside down. Should we maybe, like maybe there's instructions on the top. Wanna just be done? Wanna just make nervous? No. <laughs> ah! Oh! Anybody lose a toe? All toes are intact. Where are you going? Let's... I'm rolling this as far this okay. way as I can yeah. to create some space. Creating space is what... That seems about right. All we need to do is put that up there. And we gotta do the portals? Yeah. Oh, sh We've got a lot of work to do. I don't have the brain capacity to deal with that right now. I don't have the interest, the motivation, the desire, or the will. Where are we putting old pieces that aren't good? I'm feeling pretty overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. We're still here. We're figuring this out as we go. <laughs> oh! It's not going very good, guys. Velcro pulled my hair. 
Normally I make you buy me dinner before you're left home in here. Do you see how it goes? So what I was saying so is- So those pieces there, then come out. they do stay. So it's just- This and all the way to the other side of the window go. So we've been working our way through putting up the liner on this side piece. Well, Todd's mainly yeah. been doing it. It's been a real team effort, hasn't it? <laughs> so, so the issue is, see, this is the new liner. See how the window's right there? The liner that we put up a few weeks ago, this is where the hole is. So it was about a foot and a half off, and that's because this dome was the 2021 dome, and then the liner was built in 2022, and there were slight modifications made. Which is why we never buy brand new cars, because you buy a 2022 Corolla, and in 2023, they put out something new that you want, and it's just, honestly, it's a marketing gimmick. Buy used, people. <laughs> This is uh, finance tips with Todd. <laughs> anyway, basically, we're pressing on. Pressing on. That's it. That's all we can say about it. Yeah. So this will be huge. I'm really excited to have the windows back because I feel as though like it's been kind of claustrophobic in here because we only have the one window. So now having these ones to be able to see out and stuff, it's gonna be nice. Okay. So we're just gonna keep pressing on and. Hopefully this isn't gonna take too, too long to get done. Oh, I would set your expectations realistic, my love. What a joke that we thought that we were gonna do all of this in one day. We didn't, you did. We got it, we got this, we got this, we got it, we got it, man, we got it, man. Man, we got this, we got this, man, we got it. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That's enough of that energy. <laughs> Let's get back to ourselves. <laughs> and if one time we just uploaded a video that was like, the real time of how long things took. Like an 18 hour video. Do you know what? My dad watches a river in Alaska with grizzly bears feeding. People would totally watch us hanging our curtain wall. Grizzly bears eating fish. But there was like 18,000 people watching it with him at that moment. I don't get it. And I don't know that it was live because I sat there and watched it with him for a bit and there were seven bears at the same river in the same spot feeding. And wouldn't they be attacking each other? Not if there was a surplus supply of fish. I don't work for National Geographic, but something seems off. We just did this all that time, and it looks exactly the same. Exactly the same. Like, like if someone didn't tell me that the windows moved, I wouldn't know. Would have no idea. Oh my god, they're still on. Hello. Hi. <laughs> it is 1 a.m., and we've replaced the two side panels, but we just we don't have it in us to go up there and do that plus we have to do the door still all around there um we got to cut out the windows there's just there's uh, now we got to deal with like what do we do with all this i don't know liner? well we did come out with this solution we are going to take parts of it and make circles to go around here so that on really cold nights we can close up the windows and i think we should do it with the door as well like create something for there so that way we can go like really warm you know, but for now, I think we need to make those instant noodles and go to bed. Yeah, it's been a really long day and we're clearly geared up for another really long day. <laughs> Look at this place. Holy smokes, but it is what it is. It's going to be all worth it, so. Sounds like they're sending a prop plane to finally rescue us. Yeah. They finally saw the SOS in the solar field. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, oh. well, we're going to go make some food. I just forget how good this is. So we made instant pad thai. <laughs> Those peanuts up there. That shelf is coming in major handy. Oh yeah, so is the garden because we got some fresh green onion from out there. But we got a new show that we're going to try. We are going to enjoy this delicious five-star meal. And we'll catch up with you in the morning. You ready to do this? Yeah. Um, just because of your caffeine levels and how early it is, I think that I should go up there. <laughs> I don't mind. Didn't use the hatch, I probably should have. It feels really wobbly. Because there's no rails on it. It wasn't like this most stable. Do you want me to do it? Because I can quickly do it. I feel more comfortable up here. Do you? Yeah. I don't feel very comfortable at all. You don't look very comfortable. Like, I'm pretty sure you just shit yourself. Oh, made a mess. <laughs> all right, okay, why don't you get down? Yeah, let's swap out. Okay. 
the hope and the goal is that by putting one of these cloth liners up into the skylight, it will stop the heat from coming in as much. Because it gets warm in here. Very. Actually, let's go to this one. That one? Yeah. Gets very, <laughs> gets very, very warm. So obviously we will lose the ability to see out of the skylight, but we would rather be warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. I thought you were so confident. You're looking a little wobbly there, bud. Oh. <laughs> it's a little nerve wracking up here. Yeah. I want to get to that one. Because you moved me in all the right ways, love. <laughs> when you got it, you got it. Okay, so we finished doing the insert for the skylight and it definitely turned out different than we thought. Obviously it's a lot darker in here without that big window open, but it's allowing a little bit of light in around the edges, so it's still- I kinda like it. It's pretty, but we, well, more so me, I kind of had a panic attack because it got dark so quickly and there was just stuff everywhere that we just had to press pause yeah. and create a clean space to keep working. What do I have on me? I don't know. <laughs> It's definitely different having not having the skylight anymore, but it's what we need to do to stay warm in the winter and cool in the summer. So, okay. yeah, okay. lessons. Well, we're gonna continue on getting our space finished and back together. So now we're able to put some grout into the backsplash, which is super exciting. So what color did we go with? It is called Warm Gray. So mm. we just wanted something like kind of neutral to play off all of the different colors in the tile. So. We're just gonna start putting this on the wall and yeah, we're gonna have a, oh, and then we gotta do these. I'm super excited to see the light come through. Oh yeah, I think that yeah. will really help us get some more light back in here. It's definitely making me feel like I wanna sleep. It's not helpful that it's like cloudy and rainy yeah. outside either, but yeah, anyway, good. we're gonna press on. Well, wow, you're being way more careful with it than I would have been. I would have had that everywhere. That's why I'm not allowed Play-Doh in the house. I'm still allowed to do the washing, right? Yeah. I like oh. that we're able to split up tasks. Like this is a big project. Imagine having to cut all the tile yourself and like. Oh yeah, it would take forever. Teamwork makes the dream. Any spots need washed? Looks like you can see. Are you happy? Very happy. That looks pretty good. Well, how about while we're waiting for the tile to dry, we cut the windows out? Sure. So we can see like the natural light that's coming in. I'm down with that. Do you want me to do it? Oh yeah, I'm not doing this one. Why? I don't want the stress. Are you serious? A hundred percent. It is a little stressful. It's it? super stressful. You gotta kinda, cause I started it on the other side. Okay. Right there is a section. A modern day ghost. We've got light! Hello world. Boys, we got windows again! They're asleep. <laughs> what do you think of the view? It's pretty cool. It's so nice being able to see out these windows again. I miss them. It's definitely not perfect. Like, it's really difficult to cut in a perfect circle. So I'm just gonna like clean up the ends and like, yeah. Tidy it up a little. It's cool to actually see the natural light coming in though. Look at that. It looks good. It looks way better. Just as we're finishing up, the sun's coming out. <laughs> it looks so good. Are you happy? 
so happy. Just realize how heavy this was with the food in it. Oh, now. I can help you out quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can do this by myself. It's also probably the wine. Yeah, probably. <laughs> It looks so good. You happy? Yeah. You and I did this. We took a dream, some old tile from the shed, and made this. Yeah, it's really cool. But we still have a lot to figure out though. We need to figure out what we're gonna put on top of the counter. Like obviously these are really beautiful live edge counters and we wanna protect them. So we gotta figure that out. We still gotta do the sink and the plumbing. Hey, and... no, we're getting, we're spiraling <laughs> one problem at a time and let's celebrate the successes in between. Yeah, it's, um, projects like these are a lot of work because there's so many little things that sort of spider web off of it, but the sun's just coming out. So you wanna go outside and play? Okay. Oh, also Lily has become sort of an outdoor cat now too. Do you wanna come out with us? She sticks with the boys, so we're, we're giving her some space and just keeping an eye on the eagles and yeah. owls and stuff. It's pretty cool though. Like she'll explore around the dome and then she just comes and sits in the gazebo with us. You ready to go out with your sister? <laughs> All right, we'll see you next Sunday.